YouTube, this is Manny B. You guys are watching Inspire Your Mind. Today we have a lovely co-host. Cindy, right here. Say hello to the audience. Hi everyone, I'm Cindy, and today we're talking about domestic violence, we're talking about the causes emotionally and physically about that, and the toll that it takes on the individual and victims. Absolutely. Domestic violence can be in different categories. We're talking about verbal abuse, physical abuse, and emotional abuse. It's definitely taking a toll on a lot of women out there who's getting abused by their husbands or boyfriend. What are some of your thoughts on this particular topic? I would say, being a woman, I've never been in this particular circumstance, but I know there are a lot of cases out there. And if you're a woman who's experiencing even emotional um, abuse, then that's not a good environment to be around, especially if you're living with that day in and day out. If you have a boyfriend or husband who's been violent against you, um, either physically or mentally, then you can't live in that environment because that's going to change you, you uh, mentally and it's going to really hurt you. Absolutely, and the reason a lot of men are becoming really violent towards the women is basically they're insecure about themselves. That's the whole problem. Most of them are alcoholics. When alcohol leads to drinking quite much, your blood pressure goes out and you have to let your frustration out on somebody, whether it's your girlfriend or your wife. And the, the last but not least, the reason domestic violence happens is because there's friction in financial. Financially, you're not doing good. Maybe the husband lost his job, maybe the wife lost her job, or maybe they're spending too much money, and that's why this is happening. Or there's a big stress on that family. A burden. That income. Yes, yeah. Exactly. I mean, just let's look at the recession when a lot of jobs were gone. There was a lot of divorces going up and up and up. And that's one of the reasons domestic violence is going up. What are some of your solutions when it comes to this particular topic? I would say with those popular examples that you just gave, um, if you are able to get out of that relationship, then I think that you know if you're dating somebody like that, then you should definitely, um, even though it's hard, you know, try and get away from that and surround yourself with people who are positive and that are going to help heal you. Um, either mentally or physically, and I think it's really about your community, and so if you can just surround yourself with another person, even if it's just one person, um, that's going to be able to help you, encourage you, be positive, um, and heal you, then that's going to be the best thing that you can do. Absolutely. You definitely want to look at your circle of your friends. Are they letting you grow physically, mentally, and emotionally? If not, you got to get rid of them. Whether it's your boyfriend or husband, circle of friends. Mm -hmm. That's the bottom line, and if you're a woman, you don't really need to take this type of nonsense it's not part of your origin and I know it's hard like right. that's a hard thing to do but right. if you think about it in the long-term perspective then that's going to be better for you um, and your your body and your family and friends as well exactly I mean let me just give you a personal story of, of my understanding of domestic violence my mother was actually experienced this in her life while she was married she dealt with a lot of domestic abuse a lot of physical abuse and verbal abuse from her husband and it took a toll on her. Today, she still has post-traumatic stress. She's not able to actually trust people the way she did before. She's not able to love anybody the way she is, or she's not able to actually express her emotion to anybody easily as she did in the past. So this is basically the results after being hit with domestic violence for many, many years. And that's what really causes this type of situation. Yeah, I, yeah that's hard. I mean, I, can, I, don't, I can't understand from like my exact situation, but I can understand that that would be very hard for your mom, and even growing up around that um, would be very difficult. And I feel, know that a lot of other people um, are going through something that's similar to what your mom is going through, right. and whether that's um, you know someone just like me and you, or if that's a celebrity, I know that a lot of people you know go through that. So it's just, as we talked about today, important to surround yourself with other people in a community. Would you like to end our show with? And I want to thank you guys for watching our show. Definitely subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below and check us for more videos. Thank you. Thanks.